So yeah, my name's Kieran. I do a, a thing called Skodits of Crates. Um, it's a solo synth crust project, and yeah, releasing the new song Ratchet tomorrow, today, tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> Beautiful, mate. Well, I'm going to be honest with you straight from the bat. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that name because I'm going to fuck it up. So if anything that I refer to as you, I'm talking about the band. Okay. A lot of people go with SK because it's easier. All right. I'll probably fuck that up too, mate. You haven't met me yet. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so you were premiering your latest single, Ratchet, via Heavy, on Monday, April the 15th, bro. So tell us a bit about the song musically. Okay. So this... This song, yeah, so it's probably the most sort of uh, <laughs> upbeat and poppy of my songs, which is not really saying much. Um, it, yeah, just it's all it's all synth, heavily distorted synth of various different kinds, and uh, industrial uh, percussion and uh, drum beats, and yeah, lyrically another song, yes, another song about my you know how fucked in the head I am, basically. <laughs> 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 Sorry to laugh, mate. If you are really fucking head, it's just I can relate to it completely. Yeah, oh, look, it's it's such a good catharsis to just sort of get out there and scream about how fucked I am and have people go, "Yep, yeah, I get into that. I'm down <laughs> for that." Fucking great. Awesome. And it also comes with a creepy as fuck, but also awesome as fuck music video, mate. So run us through that. I was trying to break it down and and relate it back to you, but I got confused in the first thirty seconds. So I thought it'd be easier if you explained it. Yeah, so this is, it was made by David Zereb from uh, Grim Reflections. Um, I, this is kind of about my fifth or sixth music video. I have totally run, you know, it's just visuals is not my thing. So I just, I said to him, you know, you, you do what you, you think is best. You direct this. Uh, and then I, you know, he asked for some sort of what direction. I said, well, like I want, I want it to be uncomfortable. I don't want anyone to watch it and kind of enjoy themselves. It's definitely not date music, so I don't want it to be a date video. Um, and he definitely took that and ran with it because it's really uncomfortable. It's great. I'm really yeah. happy with it. Yeah, he's done a great job. Yeah. yeah. It's a long day of shooting. It was a day that was like 45 degrees, and we did like seven hours straight of shooting, and I was nearly dead by the end. And um, which kind of works too because you know he's edited so yeah there's bits where I'm just dripping sweat and just so close to death and I think that that kind of works for the video right it does indeed my friend <laughs> and Ratchet is um follows on from your previous two singles Joy and Second Life so how does this song differ from the previous two well they're all okay. yeah they're all pretty different like Second Life is is just a, is a straight up if you if you break it down, like everything I do is you know just synths and distortion and industrial drum beats. But Second Life, you could play that same song, those same chords and that same drum beat on guitars and drums, and it's and it's a punk song. It's pretty straight up punk song. Um, Second Life, I had, I'm sorry, that Second Life with Joy, I spent a lot of fun, a lot of time just hammering on shit and breaking shit and recording it and it's got a lot of like live percussion and bangs and crashes and it's it's a lot more sort of traditional uh industrial i guess in that way whereas this one is yeah it's i don't know it's a kind of weird straight up it's got these sort of weird almost circusy kind of bouncy rhythms to it which I don't know. I, don't, I have no idea where that came from. Eh? Like I, I, I programmed in a drum beat. I went, oh yeah, this is cool. Started doing it, and then yeah, you know, and and put the bass line on it. This big heavy bass line, and then when I started playing next layer of synth, it was like this works really bouncy you know, with something really bouncy, and because it's the beat is almost not quiet, but almost like a fucking hip hop beat or something. So, and I think that's why it's sort of this sort of um syncopated fucking uh top like synth line kind of works over the top of it so it's it's different again musically it all, i mean it all sounds like me and it's all got me screaming and growling and whatever over the top of it but, but it's 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 got some kind of traditional song structure and sort of 
but yeah, it's it's just a, it's a bit of a weird one. I, I like it a lot. It's a lot of fun to play. Yeah, so we would be men. And um, all three of them are taken from last year's album, No Life Left. So would you say overall they're a good sonic representation of the album as a whole, or are they just I, like small glimpses? I reckon they. I reckon it's actually a. a yeah, it's a good mix. Um, it it shows the album as a whole quite well. Um, you know, because I do I do everything from sort of weirder, more sparse kind of more industrial stuff through to just straight up D beat raw synth. Um, and yeah, so those those three songs I think uh, spell it out well. Like that's that's a good good collection of songs. Yeah, cool. And the album must be pretty good, bro. Like, if you're still releasing singles from it, like, the following year after it came out. Yeah, well, it, it's gone really well. Like, um, I just, it sold out, so I'm getting it repressed now. Um, they're meant to be in the country, but they're kind of not. They're on a ship. Um, I, so I, I released it, then toured Europe for about 30-odd gigs, and then came back, and I've kind of done a handful here and there, and but not that much since I've been back. So from next weekend onwards, I start touring again. So it's just like, well, you know, I'm still really happy with it. I've There's a lot of places I haven't played yet since I've released it. So it's like, yeah, okay, I'll do another single from this. I also recorded like a, a B-side to it, digital B-side, which is a re-recording of a song off my first 12-inch, which is long, long, long sold out. Um, and yeah, just keep it going. I mean, this would be the last single from it, and but yeah, I I, I feel I feel pretty comf comfortable with the album. I like it a lot, and so yeah, I want to keep going with it. Oh. Now you mentioned before when you were describing the music, you called it industrial synth crust. Like, yeah. can you elaborate on that a bit for us? Like, what sort of influences come under that? Okay, so. The, the stuff that got me into industrial in the first place, I mean, there's some older, like, I know, old New Zealand stuff like Skeptics, um, as well as, you know, stuff like Neubauten and Leibach and this. That's the stuff that got me into industrial, sort of very harsh, very ugly, um, not dancey, more noise orientated, and I like a lot of noise stuff. Um, how it, and so yeah, all my all my percussion is industrial sounds of different kinds, whether it's actually a piece of metal that's been bashed and then recorded, or whether it's me finding a sound and just fucking with it till it sounds ugly enough to use as a drum or as a percussion thing. Since well, everything I play at this point has been on a handful of different synthesizers that I use. I mean, I run them through a shitload of distortion pedals and other weirdnesses um but it's still yeah it's just me playing keys um and then crust yeah crust punk it's which is what i've been playing in 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 bands for the last fucking god knows how many years um yeah just playing yeah db crust for the last 20 something years and probably and punk rock for about 15 years before that so it's just it's a mix of these things it's where the industrial and the, the the crust punk and the punk rock all sort of meet together and that's kind of what I make with it. Yeah, very cool. Now you touched on this a bit before, bro, but you've got a string of Aussie dates coming up starting in Nambour and Queensland on April the 20th and you stagger through Victoria, New South Wales and South Australia up to July the 20th. So tell us more about that run of shows and, and what people can expect from them. Okay, so yeah, up at Nambour. So Nambour is... is um, up there is uh, there's a shop called Bad Habit Records, and the guy who does that also releases my music. That's uh, that's Borg, and so this that weekend, which is this coming weekend, is like a festival of Bad Habit Records and a festival of Bad Habits. Um, and so yeah, it's like three days of of music, um, which I'm fitting into. Then the following weekend, yeah, I'm down in sort of regional Victoria and uh, Castlemaine and. Eagle Hawk just playing a couple of smaller towns. Um, I, there's, yeah, I sort of went. To, I went and played in Melbourne a few weeks ago, and then I just wanted to go back and not do Melbourne at all and just do smaller towns. Then, yeah, just trying to get getting out regional, uh, playing in Maitland, playing in Port Macquarie, and all these other places. I just sort of get around a lot more. Um, ever since Scottish Across started, I've been doing 
shows everywhere. I've done everything. Yes, I've played pubs and clubs, but I've also played house parties. I've played under bridges. I've played forest parties. I've played anywhere, anywhere that anyone's got a PA I'll, that I can plug into, I'll play. I've played video stores. I've, you know, fucking literally just anywhere, anywhere I can plug in. So, and so then just kind of continuing that. So, um, yeah, just keeping it busy up until July. And then, yeah, in August, through um, end of August, beginning September, I'm off to Japan for uh, a few shows. And then, yeah, so that's that's where I'm at. Beautiful. And uh, what's, where can people find tickets and find out more about the dates on the Australian tour from, bro? Look, mostly if you, like, through my Instagram is probably the best way, um, the Shkoda Sokrates Instagram um, is the best way to find out. For the most part, I don't, I don't love pre-sale tickets. Like yeah. I'm old. I like rocking up to the door of a venue and paying on the door and being a little bit more spontaneous rather than pre-sales. But I, I'm very vocal about when my shows are on. So you know, if if people get on my Insta, then then yeah, I'll let them know about it. Very good. All right, mate. Well, thanks very much for your time today, mate. The single Ratchet is premiered via Heavy at seven a.m. on Monday, April the fifteenth, and it's a cracker of a song, mate. I didn't quite know what was going on for a bit there myself, but in the end, it came all together, and, and it's fucking well done, brother. So congratulations. 